Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. My name is Nicole and for today I have a quick 10 minute arm and upper body workout for you. So when you're ready, find a nice comfortable seated position on your mat and let's start with our hands next to our hips. Let's lift our arms up to shoulder height and then lower them back down. So this is our first exercise in a series of arm exercises to really get our arms nice and warm and create lots of heat through our upper body. As you lift your arms up to shoulder height, I want you to think of finding length through your arms and really reaching through your fingertips. Last one, hold your arms lifted. Let's circle our left arm in front of our chest and out and then our right arm in and out. So keeping your arms nice and lifted, you're just circling the arm in front of your chest and then back out in line with your shoulders. Make sure here that you're keeping your shoulders down and back and as relaxed as you can. And just try to enjoy this movement, finding your inhales and your exhales. Let's circle both arms now. So circle your arms in and out, leading with the backs of your hands as you bring your arms in front of your chest. Keep breathing naturally here. Your arms are probably starting to feel nice and warm, but that's exactly what we want. Last one, hold your arms extended out by your shoulders. Let's rotate our palms back and then up to the sky. So rotate them back behind you and then back up to the sky. Keep your arms as lifted as you can and really rotate through your shoulder joint. And last one, hold your palms up. Let's create a big circle up, down and out to the side with the left and then up, down and out to the side with the right. So just alternating arms. Again, each time that you extend your arm out to the side, I really want you to think of energizing through your arms and out your fingertips. Let's circle both arms now up, down and out. I know at this point my arms were already burning. So if yours are burning too, that just means that you're doing it right. Keep breathing through this. Try to keep your shoulders relaxed and just think happy thoughts. Let's do one more and hold your arms to the side. Let's flip those palms back and up again. So returning to those palm flips, just to really get into our shoulder muscles and into the backs of our arms. Who knew that holding your arms up for so long would be so painful? Last one, let's hold our palms up and create little circles now, just 10 one way. So that's five, four, three, two, one, and reverse it back to three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Let's do the same thing with our palms facing back now. Take little circles forward for ten. Three more, two, and one, and then reverse it the other way for ten. Good. That's five, four, three, two, and one. Well done. Release your arms, maybe give your shoulders a little bit of a massage, shake it out, and then let's come on to our hands and our knees. Make sure that your hands are directly underneath your shoulders and your knees are directly underneath your hips. Exhale, round your spine, gaze towards your navel. Inhale, arch your spine, look slightly up. One more, exhale round and inhale arch. And then find your neutral spine position. So one long line all the way from your tailbone to the crown of your head. On your inhale, 
bend your elbows down towards the mat, shift your weight forward, so bringing your chest forward past your hands, and then press yourself up. So inhale as you lower your elbows, shift forward, and exhale, press up. So you're creating nice big circles with your arms, coming through a beautiful tricep position to really get those triceps burning. Let's do two more. Inhale, bend, shift forward. Exhale, press up. Last one. Good job. Walk your hands a few inches further forward than your shoulders. Shift your hips under and lower yourself to the front side of your body. Inhale, roll your shoulders back, press through your hands and come into a baby cobra. Take a few deep breaths here, really opening through your heart center and then relax back down. Inhale, press yourself up. Curl your toes under and exhale, downward facing dog. Staying here for one deep breath. And then ripple your spine forward, coming into a high plank position. Walk your hands out so they're mat distance apart and your fingertips are slightly pointing inwards. Come down to your knees if you need a modification. On your inhale, come into a push up Exhale, press, lift your knees, open to a side plank, and then come back to your push-up position. So you inhale, bend, exhale, press, inhale, open to your side plank, and exhale, come back through center. So you can do your push-ups on your knees, or if you're feeling really nice and strong today, you can do your push-ups on your toes. You pick your option. Only come down as far as you can, where you can keep your spine super straight and your abs engaged. This is a challenging little series. It's really working our arms, our chest muscles, our core, but it will be worth it, I promise. This is your last one. Good job. Okay, challenge. Lower your knees. Bend your elbows coming halfway into your push-up and just hold for five, four, three, two, and one. Well done. Rest your body down. Let's release our arms by our side into a cactus position. Inhale, draw your navel in towards your spine and lift your chest, but keep your gaze down towards the mat. On your exhale, reach your arms forward by your ears. Inhale, flip your palms out and reach your arms back behind you, lifting your chest. Then exhale, bend your elbows and reach your arms forward. Keep going, inhale, as you sweep your arms behind you, opening through your chest. And exhale as you bend your elbows and release your arms forward few more of these. This is really good for the strength of our upper back. Last one. Let's hold our arms back behind us and just rotate your palms up and down. So just rotating your palms up to the sky and then back down to the mat. Try to keep your arms nice and lifted your chest nice and lifted, really using those back muscles. Last one, hold your palms facing down and just pump the arms up and up. This is your last exercise, you can do it. Just six more, five, four, three, two, and one. Well done. Lower yourself back down, press yourself up, and press back into a child's pose. Guess what? Your upper body arm workout is done for the day. So take this time in your child's pose to really return to your breath and feel the effects of your Pilates practice in your upper body today. Then very carefully roll up through your spine, lifting your chest. Let's stretch our right arm across our body, 
keeping your shoulders down and back and then reach your right arm overhead reaching your right hand towards your left shoulder blade feeling a nice opening through our shoulders and then switch arms stretching your left arm across your body then reach your left arm overhead reaching for that opposite shoulder blade and release them back down find a nice comfortable seated position on your mat take a few big shoulder rolls up and back then reverse it rolling the shoulders up and forward and let's finish class today with one last big inhale reach your arms up to the sky and exhale lower your hands down to prayer Thank you so much, everyone. I hope you enjoyed that quick little arm and upper body workout. If you want to see more videos like this, don't forget to like this video, leave me a comment, share this workout with a friend and subscribe to my channel. Thank you so much, everyone. And I look forward to seeing you next time.